Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be working on this loose leaf foil Christmas tumbler. As always, we're going to be starting with a prepped and painted base on this 20 ounce skinny tumbler. I'm just putting a little bit of tacket, a lot of bit of tacket. <laughs> on this tumbler. I put way too much, so don't be like me. <laughs> um, so I'm just spreading it around, making sure there are no clumps or anything like that, trying to smooth it out as best I can. And then once I have everything smooth, I'll go in with a heat gun, dry it until it's clear, and then we can apply our foil. Now that my tacket is clear and sticky to the touch, I'm going to go in with this red loose leaf foil from Woods Goodies. And I learned the first time I did this, put a glove on, put a paper underneath it, <laughs> just dump it on the cup. It makes a giant mess. So you can just pour it on and just kind of rub it till it's flat, just like I'm doing in the video. I'm going to go in and cut this vinyl. I believe it was about four inches or so. I didn't measure exact um, the way I kind of gauge the vinyl wraps when I do the half wraps on cups. Um, I try to cut it just a little bit below the halfway mark. I feel like it looks kind of weird when it's like half and half. So I try to do it a little bit below that so there's a little bit more glitter or foil at the top um, and the vinyl is not completely taking over. Now that the vinyl wrap's applied, I'm gonna go right in with my glittering portion. I saw Lovely Made Customs do this for the first time and I love it. I've always been so afraid to do it. This was my very first time doing this and let me tell you, it is way easier than it looks. So don't be afraid. I used my vinyl as a guide just to kinda give me a rough idea of where I wanted the coordinating glitter colors. Um, so I'm going to go in with my darkest color first and then we're going to work up to the lightest color. So I'm starting with Mistletoe from Peachy Olive Glitters. Like I mentioned in all of my other videos, I do have a discount code with them. It's Mitten 10 for 10% 10 off. And we're just going to go in very lightly. You don't want to squeeze too much because it kind of muddles together when you squeeze too hard on that bottle. 
I don't know if there's really like an official term or technique name applying this glitter with this needle nose squeeze bottle. The best way I can describe it is think about you're like coloring a pencil drawing and you're shading in with the pencil if that makes any sense at all. That's kind of the technique that I'm using to get these thin lines. I'm just kind of using the vinyl wrap as a guide to where I want to put my glitter. I'm not covering all of the vinyl wrap with the glitter. I'm just kind of enhancing it, I guess, putting green glitter over the green brush strokes and red and silver, etc., um, just to kind of enhance that a little bit. I did hit this with a heat gun between each glitter color that I put down. I used um, Crystal at Glitter Glue and it takes, I believe, two hours to fully dry. Um, I'm impatient as usual and trying to speed up the process. So I just hit it with a heat gun for probably 30 seconds. Don't do it too much or it's going to end up being bubbly. Um, and you're gonna see that underneath your glitter. So I just hit it with that, and then I went in with my red next. I'm using Sookie from Peachy Olive Glitters, and here we go. All right, so I hit that red with heat gun and made sure to brush that off with my chip brush. And the last glitter color we're using is Filigree. That is from Chase Ray Creations. I do have a discount code with her as well. That is MMC15 for 15% 15 off.
Okay, so I let that glitter sit overnight and I went in with two coats of the Krylon Triple Thick Spray and I sprayed that right over the glitter so it didn't contaminate or cross-contaminate any of the glitters. And then I went in with one more coat of epoxy. So at this point we're at two coats of epoxy and it was basically smooth to the touch. So I went in and sanded the rim. I knew this last coat was gonna be my final coat. And then I'm gonna go in with my 80 grit sanding block and just knock down any of those little pokey glitters that are sticking up. We're gonna clean it with some rubbing alcohol and then go right into the decal on the final coat. Since we have so much going on with the abstract lines at the bottom and the vinyl and the glitter, I wanted to make this um, vinyl striping a little bit thicker than I normally do. So I went and cut it out at 0 0.10 by 11 and a half width instead of 0 0.08, which I normally do, um, just to make sure that it didn't kind of get muddled into the rest of the design, I guess I would say. Um, so I wanted it to still kind of be subtle, but still be able to see it. The decal that I'm using is a Made by Manny and Mal decal. This was in Mal's Elite or Patreon paid mentorship group um, that she provided to us for free and I absolutely love her SVGs. So I wanted to use this. You are able to purchase this on her website and I do have a very exciting announcement that I now have a discount code for her digital collectives. It's Mitten 10 for 10% off. I will link that in the description box as well. She's a lot of SVGs. They are so stinking cute. So I just cut this as is. It did come with an offset when she created it, so I didn't have to do any of the extra work. Um, the base, I'm cutting just a plain white vinyl, and then the um, inlay for this design, I'm using the textured silver metallic from, I believe, Tech Wrap or Cricut. I'll find which one I used, I don't recall. Um, they're basically the exact same thing anyways. Um, so I'll link that in the description as well. And I just applied that to my cup at four inches wide. Once I had all of my vinyl work laid down, I went over it with a coat of polycrylic to make sure that vinyl wasn't gonna lift once I put my epoxy on. Um, I applied it, let it dry for about 30 minutes till it was dry to the touch. Went in with one final coat of epoxy and the design was done. So here's the final design. I am obsessed. I will definitely be doing more of this abstract brush stroke glitter combination. If somebody has an official term for it, please let me know. <laughs> um, if you like it, let me know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to join my group on Facebook that is Mitten Makers and I'll see you guys next weekend.